A couple of weeks ago when I was running that gear shift knob from that just scrap wood that I got off of that pallet, the grain on that thing really looked so cool that I was trying to think of another project that I could make on the rotary axis because I still have a lot of that uh, pallet wood left. So I got on SolidWorks and I drew a, a 3D model of a small mallet that you see me roughing out here with my rotary axis. Here it's starting the finishing tool path. And again, I'm using my favorite uh, tool for doing these 3D um, things on the rotary axis, and that's a uh, 1 8 inch tapered ball nose with a 1 16th radius tip. It's a bit by Amana. I'll have a link for that down below in the description if you'd like to pick one up. That old pallet wood is having some really cool looking grain, so it's certainly not uh, disappointing once I start uh, seeing this thing as it's finished. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, Dave, you could run this thing on your lathe, just turn one on your lathe in a fraction of the time that it takes this rotary axis to do this. And that's absolutely true. However, I'd never be able to get it precise as far as the measurements uh, with the lathe and I need it precise because I'm going to be doing some engraving some, um, engraving some text on it here in just a little bit and unless you would have the 3d model perfect it just wouldn't work since this thing is made from wood from a pallet i decided to dub this thing the pallet mallet and that's what i'm engraving here on the handle here's a shot of it after it's finished engraving and here is a shot just to show you what the wood looked like before i started I had so much fun making this mallet from just scrap wood from a pallet that uh, I decided I'd run another one and offer it up as a giveaway. So if you live in the United States and you'd like to have your official pallet mallet, uh, be sure and leave a comment down below and somewhere in your comment put hashtag USA. And then next week, probably around Thursday or Friday, uh, I will do a live stream and I'll run the random comment picker and we'll find a winner uh, for this uh, mallet and I'll get it sent off to you. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate uh, all the comments and thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't already subscribed, please think about subscribing and hit the little notification bell and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Uh, and that's going to do it for this one, I guess. So I look forward to seeing you next week when we do the giveaway. Thanks for watching.